you. Thank you very much. The entire congregation can be seated. The choir has a hymn. And after the choir has sung that hymn, the district apostle has asked me just to say something concerning that, events that have happened.
years old, that was 1918, when, when some people came back after the First World War to Canada and we had a little, a little, a little let's say, a little beverage room and they came in the beverage room because they were thirsty. <laughs> and then they brought a copper along and so forth and so on and then I had a hearty wish if I could only ever in my life become an American. Eh? So they brought me into the neighborhood and inaugurated me into the Americans in time. And I'm very, very happy. That was wonderful. Wonderful, eh? Just sit down. The Street Apostle has asked me just to, read a, to, re, to relate to you a little bit of history, our history. This song was sung some four or five years ago here in this church on the occasion of a visit by the Chief Apostle Urwiller. And the Chief Apostle and our District Apostles that stood beside the altar here, and they were very deeply, deeply impressed. Both had only heard it for the first time, and the Chief Apostle inquired as to the contents of the text word, especially where it says, just as he died to make man holy, let us work to make man free. Then in the conversation between the Chief Apostle and the District Apostle, they said, we, go, we are going to pray for Abraham Lincoln because he was the great emancipator. He was a redeemer. He made man free. They agreed between them, such a man deserved special, special prayers and supplication. He had accomplished a great work. Some two months later, a service for the departed took place here. It was a tri-district service. And the... The district service, or the district choir, also sits just where you choir members sit this morning. And when one of our sisters, she came in somewhat early, she came up the center aisle here right to where these four girls are sitting. That's where she usually sat. And when she got there, lo and behold, the place was occupied. And she said to the people that were there, this is usually where I sit. And there was a man sitting there, a long stove pipe hat, a long beard, very tall, very erect. Beside him, a woman, presumably his wife, dressed in the garb, this sister said, of some 200 years ago. And beside him, two sons. And this man got up and he apologized, just imagine, to this sister for taking her place. But he said, we had a special invitation to come here and to participate in this service, my name is Abraham Lincoln, and this is my wife, and these are our two children. And with that, he disappeared. Can you see what happened? What the effect of that singing brought about on the heart of men of God and how our Heavenly Father reacted that took place right here where you four girls are sitting here in the Kitchener Church. Isn't that something, huh? That's wonderful. Let's not forget to say thank you to our Heavenly Father, what he does upon us. We'll see you later. There were 2,414 this morning in service here, up and downstairs.